Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I share how to make reverse native soup. This soup is so easy to make but the flavor is out of this world delicious. I have all the ingredients here. I'm also going to list them in the description box. So do well to check it out. First we have the fish. I'm using some red snapper and catfish. But use any fish or seafood kind of fish that you like. I have some crab which is optional. I just like to add it some sea snails you guys know i love snails so i'm excited about this particular ingredient in this soup so to begin i'm going to add the fish in the pot i'm going to show the ingredients as i go so please stay with me next i'll add some chopped onion over the fish like so next i'll go in with some yellow pepper i love yellow pepper for this soup because it adds a beautiful beautiful aroma to the soup then i'll add some seasoning cube salt palm oil and water and then cover for this to steam cook for a few minutes. This soup cooks really fast so you want to make sure all your ingredients are prepped before you start. Even though for the purpose of this video I'm going to be showing them in bits but please make sure you prep everything before you start because you know fish don't take time to cook and everything here is fresh seafood. So here I have some tiger prawn head. You'll see what I do with this in a bit, but just know that this is going to make your soup really delicious, okay? So next I have the shrimps. Here I have the two tiger prawns. You can see them and regular jumbo shrimp. Now to clean the prawn and the shrimps, you want to get the head out, take out the vein. I also feel like the vein extends to the head, so I like to slit it open like this and just get those black black stuff out, which I think is a vein, and then rinse properly and then for the shrimp itself you want to take out the scale slit the back open and remove the vein another ingredient i'm going to add to this soup is uziza seed now typically this is not used to cook the reverse native soup but i find that it adds a lot of flavor to this soup so i'm going to add it but please feel free to skip it if you're not feeling it okay <laughs> so i've added that into a blender including the prawn head i'm going to blend this until smooth and then pass it through a sieve to catch any shaft that may be in there you guys this is a powerhouse i think this should be the base of any nigerian soup if you ask me it is so delicious it can transform the whole pot of soup positively so once this is done i'll set it aside now another ingredient I have is periwinkle, please add more, that was all I have left. I have some clams, some uziza leaf and some cocoa yam for thickening. Now you can use achi or pho or even quaker oat, blended quaker oat to thicken your soup. So I'm going to peel this, cut it, rinse it and blend really well. Another way to do this is to cook it, pound it and then use as a paste but this also works just as good. If this is your first time here, I want to specially thank you for clicking to watch this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the like button before you leave. Turn your bell notification on as well. That way you'll be the first to know anytime I upload a new video. And to my returning subscribers, I love you. Thank you for always coming back to watch. So about 5 minutes later, I come back to check on the fish. I am going to now add all the seafood at this point. I started with a periwinkle. You can add your periwinkle last but I want to cook all my seafood, okay? No vex. <laughs> so next I went in with the clams, the shrimps, the prawns, all the seafood going now. Next I'll add the sea snails. Now you can add any seafood at all that you like. Any one you catch from the river that you can eat, add it at this point. Next I'll add the crabs and our blended magic bullet. That is the blended prawn head and uziza seed. Once I add that, I'll top with a little bit more water, you know, so we can get our soup. And then stir this really gently. Remember we're working with fish. If you stir rigorously, everything is going to scatter. So be really gentle. I'm going to cover this and let it simmer for 2 to 3 minutes. It's been three minutes i'm going to now give this a gentle stir even though there was no need for me to stir this at this point but you know we like to turn things on this channel <laughs> so i tasted as well and adjusted with a bit more seasoning you can also use salt if you prefer 
then i'll go in with the cocoa yam puree now i am going to add my uziza leaf almost immediately because i want that to help to release all the natural goodness into the soup <music> Once I add the leaf, I'll let this go for another 5 minutes so everything can come together. Don't worry, the fish was not overcooked, it was just right, okay? So 5 minutes later, I'm going to give this one last gentle stir and you guys, our soup is ready. The aroma in my kitchen at this point, you know now, complete it for me in the comment section. It was nose blinding, so good. I also added a little bit more salt because I thought I needed a bit of that. You guys, our soup is ready. Take it off the heat, serve and enjoy with any swallow that you prefer. So, I did small over savvy. I added okra. You don't have to, but I liked it at the end. So now our soup is ready. I'm going to make my semo. To make that, I'll bring some water to a boil. Add some semo while stirring until it solidifies like this. You want to stir so it doesn't have any lumps in it. I have a detailed video on how to make semo. I think I'll link it as well in the description box so you watch. Now you want to stir, add water, you know, to your desired softness. I like my fufu really soft. So do that until it is cooked, serve and enjoy. Now look at our soup. You see, the fish was still intact. All the fish was intact. No one pieces. Everything came out whole. So serve and enjoy. You guys, let me know. Is it something you're willing to try? Have you tried it? And how well did you enjoy it? My guarantee is if you try this soup once, you'll make it at least twice in a row. It is that good. If you're still watching up until this point, this is a good time to please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you. Send me your pictures on Instagram at joyfulcook.com if you get to try this out. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.